hi cuties hi mommies and hi everybody welcome to another video on my channel i'm so happy to have you thank you so much for your support i really appreciate it please subscribe if you haven't done so yet and like this video show me some love in the comment section share it with your friends and yeah i really hope you're gonna enjoy today's video because we're talking about probably my favorite topic we're talking feeding today that is breastfeeding and also we've recently started on solids so i'll tell you how that's going breastfeeding is probably my favorite thing because it's my most researched firstly and also because i enjoy it so much with my baby she loves it and i love it from the moment she was born like even before she was born it's something i'd always research i'd google about it what are the benefits of breastfeeding why should i breastfeed my baby and of course from what i read and from what i know and heard from other people i told myself i want to breastfeed my child and thank goodness she allowed me that you know because i do understand that there are many reasons why a woman is not breastfeeding maybe she doesn't want to breastfeed maybe her body is not allowing her to breastfeed maybe the baby is rejecting the breast milk maybe the baby is not latching on properly medical reasons um, your body is not producing enough milk so there are many reasons why one wouldn't breastfeed but if you can and if your body is allowing it if your baby is also allowing you to breastfeed her do it you know there are so many um benefits to that so i was fortunate enough that she latched on immediately at the time i was still shivering because i had a c-section and when the nurse put her on my breast i actually had to ask her is she feeding is she is she sucking is something coming out you know and the nurse was like just hold your your fingers to her nose or rather hold your breast so that you don't suffocate her with with your breast but otherwise don't worry there's nothing else you need to do the baby is feeding you know and it was oh it was such a beautiful moment and our breastfeeding journey started now breastfeeding has been honestly the best thing because it's time for me to bond with her she will look at me in my eyes she'll sometimes stay you know um sometimes she falls asleep on the breast and even my body you know the way that it feels there's some sensation <laughs> that happens when the the milk is flowing out of my breast into her mouth um it's great i i honestly do love it um now if you choose to formula feed that's also okay the baby will grow up strong and healthy and yeah the baby will be fine but this is specifically for those who choose to breastfeed and you know what you shouldn't be discouraged by your family or by elders because i remember even for me i was concerned is she actually getting enough milk you know is she feeding because unlike pumping this is when you are feeding her directly from your breast unlike pumping because when you pump you can see exactly how much milk you've pumped and how much she takes from the bottle also if you feel a feeding you can also measure this is how much my baby uh fed this is how much milk my baby has had but if you're feeding her from the breast you can't really tell like did she did she have enough? Is she full? Is she okay? You know, there is that worry. It is only natural. There are different ways where you can tell if your baby is actually getting some milk and is she getting enough? Is she feeding? You know, if you're feeding her and you can see that she's calm, sometimes she'll fall asleep, sometimes she'll just be staring at you, then you know, okay, she's actually feeding, she's eating, you know, and after the feed, maybe your breast were full before you fed her and then after you feed her, you'll tell that, okay, fine my breasts now are empty that means your baby had milk and if she's not fighting and screaming then you know okay she's content which means she's full you have to burp her i'm so glad i'm past the burping stage um but yeah you'll have to burp her and then she'll give you a loud burp loud wet burp you'll know okay my baby got milk she fed she's full she's fine also from the wet nappies you know uh, i think it's about six nappies a day you can measure in that way because 
why would she pee or poop if she's not getting anything into her body right so when you're getting um six wet nappies then you know okay fine my baby peed my baby pooped her poop i think needs to be yellow if she's breastfed i'm not sure if she's formula fed what the uh, poop needs to look like but i know with me i always used to take pictures of her poop is this the right color is this the right texture um so be while you are exclusively breastfeeding the color would be yellow and it's a little bit watery in fact it's watery then you know okay fine her poop looks healthy she's fine yeah we've gotten to a point where we are taking pictures of poop that is my life so she's digesting the the breast milk that you are feeding her and also don't feel discouraged by your family members because i know like with the older people they're always concerned is this baby getting enough milk this baby is not full why is she crying you need to supplement with formula honestly you don't have to supplement with formula i mean there are also reasons why a child would have to go on formula as i stated before there's nothing wrong with formula but you don't have to supplement unless it's for a medical reason unless there is actually a medical reason that's making you or that needs you to supplement with formula or maybe you don't have enough time to feed her all the time or maybe you don't have enough time to pump milk for her then you can supplement but don't supplement with formula just because your mom your aunt or your family member is saying your child is not full your child is full you know you as the mom can tell you can see from your baby's cues she'll give you cues if whether she's hungry or not or if she's not contained or she's not full from your breast milk then maybe you can supplement but if there's no reason for you to supplement do not do it your breast milk is honestly all your baby needs for the first six months of her life this is liquid gold all the nutrients she'll need you don't need to give her juice for the first year of her life in fact you don't need to give her juice you don't need to give her water for the first six months breast milk it's got everything that your baby needs for the first six months of her life and there was actually a time where i tried formula for her so i was actually quite busy around about that time and um a day came where i had plans and i had actually planned to pump milk for her before i leave but because i was having such a hectic day i couldn't pump milk for her and if i don't pump for her then i know i need to be back before her next feeding session so on this particular day i was like okay let me just try formula let me go buy formula and see how we like it but that would mean i just need to keep pumping so that my body doesn't forget to produce enough milk for her so on this particular day i bought her formula i fed her before i left and i told auntie okay auntie after three hours please um give her some of the formula i prepared it myself and i left it there and i said after three hours please feed her uh this formula and i'll check in on you guys and see how she reacts to it and auntie was like okay so i left and i was all the way in centurion on that day so after three hours i called the nanny and i was like hi auntie how did the baby react to the formula and in the background i could actually hear her crying and my nanny was like Ah, oh, she didn't like it. I didn't let her finish the bottle because uh, she just turned red. So apparently she was red around her mouth all the way to her ears. And I was like, what? I did not even let her finish the sentence. I was like, okay, I'm on my way home. Is she okay? And um, auntie was like, yeah, she's fine, but she's still crying. And I was like, how long ago did you give her the bottle? And um, her nanny was like, I actually just gave it to her now. And I said, okay, I'm on my way home. I rushed from Centurion uh, to home. I got home. She was not crying when I got home. And really the bottle was not even halfway um, done. She had just had a little bit. And I looked at her and I was like, baby, are you okay? She looked at me and she was really like red. All the way around her mouth all the way to her ears and she had a bit of a rash oh my goodness i panicked so much i ran to the pharmacy and it was quite late because the time was about six i ran to the pharmacy and i was like okay my baby um got this reaction from formula that i gave her they asked me which formula did you give her and i told uh the pharmacist and she was like no she's okay it was just an allergic reaction and i was like so what should i give her in the meantime what, what can i give for her 
and the pharmacist actually said no there's nothing that you can give to her because i think you can only give your or rather some pharmacies only sell um allergics or you can give your baby allergics when the when they are over the age of two right yeah so they wouldn't give me anything uh, at the pharmacy at the time she just said just give her some breast milk she'll be fine she's allergic to it is there nothing else um that you noticed and i was like no she was just weird it's actually calmed down um from what auntie said because auntie was like she was like very she had a lot of rash and now she's a little bit better so i said okay i rushed back home again i gave her some milk by the breast and about two hours later i think it was the rash had disappeared so i was very fortunate that it wasn't a hectic allergic reaction and i never tried formula after that i was like nope i am fine if i cannot pump for her then i need to be back wherever i'm at i need to be back by the time i need to feed her or i just need to pump milk for her you know but i'm not going to be trying formula and i hope i don't get to a point where i need to supplement with formula anytime soon and when you are breastfeeding you also need to take care of yourself as the mom because i mean your baby's feeding from you from what you eat so keep those fluids in keep hydrated drink water drink your tea you know eat healthy if you can or rather you should be eat healthy um have oats <laughs> maybe add brewer's yeast if you want to increase your your supply but take care of yourself as well as a mom who is breastfeeding your baby try to calm down you know um your baby doesn't want a stressed mommy because if you're stressing or if you're crying i remember when my baby was small there was a day where i was sad and my mom was like no don't be sad you know so they can feel it when you when you're sad even when you're pregnant your baby can feel when you're lonely or sad same as when you are breastfeeding her you need to be calm don't be stressed because stress can also decrease your your milk supply so just make sure that you're taking good care of yourself so that you can take care of your baby by feeding her by the breast or from the time she was small i would feed her every three two to three hours um now though i'm feeding her every three to four hours but i'm not too strict on the schedule i just listen to her if i can see that sometimes she's looking for the breast then i'll give it to her because so i'll give her the breast if maybe she wants it and it's maybe been two hours since her last feed we are on solids at the moment but i'm still feeding her on that three two four hour um feeding schedule so in the morning i'm not too in a hurry to feed her milk you know because my daughter starts her day at between half past six to half past seven so by seven o'clock she's up she's up for the day and sometimes when auntie comes and fetches her at that time i try and sneak in a little bit of sleep maybe an hour before uh, i start my work day because i'm still working from home so i'll sneak in an hour and i'm not too stressed about okay fine now i need to get up and i need to feed the baby I, i'm able to get up take a shower make myself tea have my oats or whatever then only i'll feed her because through the night she actually feeds throughout the night um before she used to wake up quite frequently um there was a time when she was about six months oh she woke up every hour every hour my baby would wake up she wouldn't want me to put her down and you know i'd have to sleep like this my back was aching and oh it was just horrible but every hour she would feed now though she's getting bigger she's getting into a nice routine nice sleeping patterns so she would sleep for stretches maybe three to four hour stretches if i'm lucky five hour stretches but um if she wakes up like on a normal day she'll like sleep for three hours wake up i'll feed her she doesn't wake up and start uh talking at the end um in the middle of the night but she'll wake up just for a feed and then i'll wake up i'll feed her while she's still sleeping and then she'll fall asleep again so that's why in the morning i'm never really in a hurry to feed her again because she's feeding throughout the night and then i'll feed her again at about nine or half past nine and then i'll feed her again at like 12 1 p.m and now we are on solids so that's when she'll have her her first meal so we are feeding twice uh twice a day 
so it would be at 12 or 1 and then again in the evening before bath time she'll feed again at about 6 or half past 6 to 7 maybe depending on our sleeping schedule and feeding schedule for that particular day um, i haven't changed how often i feed her by the breast because also i still want my body to produce uh, breast milk for her because it's, it's a supply and demand. If I stop breastfeeding her or if I reduce the amount of times that I feed her or pump her milk, then my body's going to say, oh, okay, so this person doesn't need that much milk. So let's stop making that much milk for her. So the more you feed her by the breast, the more your body is going to produce the milk and the more you'll have a, a supply for your baby. I currently don't have a freezer stash. Of breast milk because um, in the beginning because I'm working from home so in the beginning I would pump milk for her maybe at like 10 so that she'll feed at 12 and then again I'll pump at about 1 you know and then she'll feed at 3 but it was never really um, stash for me to put in the freezer because I'm at home I'm always here you know um, and if I do pump for her then it's probably for the next couple hours or maybe the following morning but it's never I, i've never really had a stash in the freezer but if you do want to to get a freezer stash just make sure that you're pumping enough pump 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 your body is gonna realize okay fine this person there's more than one baby that we're feeding here so we need to produce enough milk for this baby to be fed so feeding solids has been so much fun if you follow me on instagram you would have seen that i've shared it quite a couple of times what i've made for her different recipes how her reaction was because it's honestly my favorite i love it i think i enjoy it more than she does because i enjoy preparing the food for her i enjoy seeing her reaction to the new foods um i remember her first food was avocado so i actually skipped the whole porridge and cereal first food um oh and before i actually get into that i just want to tell mommies don't rush you know at least when she's six months then you can start introducing the solids to her i know sometimes again with elders they'll want to rush you and say when is this child eating food or they'll want to give her a vienna or something like that no don't rush your baby wait until she is six months all she needs for the first six months of her life is formula or breast milk that is honestly all she needs for the first six months of her life i said this before and i'm saying it again do not rush your baby and i know sometimes she'll stay maybe when she's about four months she'll start staring at you when you're eating or maybe want to grab your food but again if there's no medical reason for you to start uh, before six months then don't wait i mean if she's four months you can wait another two months before you start her on formula don't you think so yeah wait you know wait till she's about six or seven months then you can slowly start introducing food to her and don't force her you know um i think they told me to start with two spoons of food um and you need to make it quite watery so that she can digest it properly because you don't want your baby choking on whatever meal you've prepared for her so slowly start introducing it to her mash it or puree it cook her food and then put it in the blender or try mashing it in any way that you can um mash her food whether you're buying a bullet whatever i'm using a normal blender i haven't bought any um baby nutri bullets or baby food processes specifically there is one that i'm looking at at the moment but currently i'm not using any other special blender to blend her food i'm using the normal one that we have here at home where i'll i would either steam her food or bake it or boil it and cook it you know and then i'll put it in the blender smash it make it smooth add a little bit of water to make it quite soft and runny like the first few meals need to be quite runny for her to actually eat properly and then as she gets used to the food then you can make it a little bit thicker and as i said before do not force her like if she doesn't like it don't force her it should be fine it's it's still an introductory phase you know you're still introducing the food to her so don't force her there, there is a time where you're gonna force her you need to eat your veggies you need to eat this hey finish your food you'll get to that but for now for the first year you honestly do not need to force your baby even if she skips 
um a day of of solids it's okay as long as you are giving her your breast milk or as long as she's having a formula for the first year of her life then she's good you're not starving your baby it's still fun it's basically for fun in the first year and when you can see that she's not liking what you've made it's fine try something else if she doesn't like greens like mine doesn't like the greens then i'll mix it with something sweeter she absolutely loves sweet potato i found that is her favorite food you know she even likes sweet potato more than she likes uh fruits and i'll mix anything and everything with sweet potato you know because your baby can eat almost everything that we are eating there are certain foods that you need to stay away from um but basically they can eat most of the things that we are eating as long as you just period um not sure when i will start her on three meals a day um probably next month but for now it's twice a day today i mixed broccoli and sweet potato and pumpkin and carrots all the all the orange vegetables she absolutely loves them so i mix those and then sometimes i'll make fruit for her banana is also a favorite in this home but what i found with banana so either banana can work as a laxative it can actually make her stomach loose and then she can poop or if it's not ripe it can actually make her constipated so before six months she was never ever constipated and it's only when she started having solids where i found that oh my goodness my baby is constipated what should i use i'm not used to her being constipated i mean it's long land or so how much more for a little baby you know and i went to the chemist and then i got milk of magnesia it didn't seem to help her much and then i also got her 100% prune juice that I bought and that actually seemed to help her um, if you don't have prune juice you can also give her 100% apple juice it would also help her with uh, constipation and maybe you can use a suppository um, that would probably be the last resort but the the fruit should actually help your baby go there was a time where I made green beans for her she hated it she hated it to a point where she started crying and i was like ah, 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 ah. okay we're stopping this one we're not gonna have this and then instead i gave her papaya and i actually bought that papaya when she was constipated because i heard all the fruits that start with a p help with uh constipation so that would be pears um pears is also a favorite in this home it would be papaya and prunes as well so i had a bit of papaya left over and i gave her that because she wouldn't finish the the green beans and she enjoyed that so just make it fun for the baby make it fun for you do not force your baby try different recipes don't make it boring you know make it fun make it messy it's going to get messy that's okay um, my freezer stash would be for a week i think that's the longest i've frozen her food so i got these uh freezer container baby freezer containers at clicks um, if i'm not mistaken i got it for about 40 to 60 bucks i can't remember how much it was but it was quite affordable i got it at those are really nice to have and i'll make her food either on the monday or the sunday for the week and then again at the end of the week i'll make her food and then i'll put it in the freezer and these containers are actually detachable so now we are on two containers so in the beginning her feeding would be from one of the containers but now we've moved on to two containers which is about six um tablespoons yeah so we're eating quite a bit now and we are still enjoying it and also i'm actually not sure when we are starting on baby led weaning because that's when the baby actually eats what you are eating at home so maybe you'll give her corn on the cob uh, maybe you'll dice some fruit up for her and put it on her feeding tray and then she'll start eating herself when you're not actually puring the food for her um, so i'm not too sure when i'm i'm starting that it's probably going to be next month 
and foods also or rather things that i haven't tried is peanut butter and eggs you know because people tend to be um allergic to that or lactose so i'm not too sure when i'll be starting on peanut butter or how how have other mommies actually introduced please tell me how you guys introduced peanut butter to your baby or when you introduced peanut butter to your baby because i'm thinking of giving her maybe on a spoon on her spoon or by the finger and just see if maybe she likes it and will she not react to it because it's quite scary um, to give your baby something that she's allergic to and soon i'm also going to be shredding some chicken and meat and giving it to her and see um how she takes it i know my cousin always teases her and says our little vegan but i actually do want to start giving her meat soon and give her some protein yeah so that is my journey with feeding it's not yet ended there's still a lot more we need to explore baby and i she still needs to start on meat i still want to know how to introduce peanut butter or how other mommies introduce peanut butter how they introduced eggs um yogurt as well i tried yogurt once on her she seemed to have liked it so you know there's still a lot of things that i want to introduce into her diet and just see how she enjoys it or how she receives it yeah so that is it for today's video let me know what you think and yeah see you in the next video